so much. Let me thank Sheila for her wonderful rendition of the Fast Bang of Banner. Yes. Let me thank Scott Schultz, who is standing up not just for the workers in Erie, Pennsylvania, against Paul Green, but for every worker in America. Scott Green! And let me thank Representative Terry Alexander of South Carolina. It will not be tax rates 
for billionaires. And efforts to throw millions off the health care that they currently have. This campaign is going to end all of that. The principles of our government will be based on justice, on economic justice, on social justice, on racial justice, on environmental justice. which tells the powerful special interests who control so much of our economic and political life that we will no longer tolerate the greed of corporate America and the billionaire class. Greed which has resulted in this country having more income and wealth inequality than any other major country on earth. Bernie, 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 Bernie. We will no longer stand idly by and allow three families in this country to own more wealth than the bottom half of the American people. Over 20% of our children live in poverty. Veterans sleep out on the streets. Senior citizens cannot afford their prescription drugs. We're here to tell the 1% that we will no longer tolerate 46% of all new income going to the very richest people in this country while millions of Americans are out working two or three jobs just to survive and pay the bills. Today we launch our fight for a political revolution to the private health insurance companies, whether you like it or not. <laughs> the United States is going to join every other major country on Earth and go to And you can spend all the money you want against us. We will have a Medicare for all. that you will no longer charge the American people the highest prices in the world by far for the medicine they desperately need. Whether you like it or not, your greed is going to end and we're going to lower the cost of prescription drugs in this country. to the fast food industry and to other low-wage employers. Stop paying your workers starvation wages. Yes, we are going to raise the minimum wage in this country to at least 15 bucks an hour. for workers to join unions. Today, we say to the American people that we will rebuild our crumbling infrastructure, our roads,